As-salamu alaykum. We're not doing that again. <laughs> I'm so hip. Moves. Yo, tell him. I'm not doing it. I can never get the E screech on, but uh, I've started to perfect my E. Yeah. How do you know the beat? I don't. <laughs> How does the beat impact you? The beat. We're done here. To be honest, Naveed was in the beginning kind of a guy who would just come up to you and automatically think of you as a friend. So I know the first time I saw him, I think he came up to me and he hugged me and he started acting kind of foolish and then went up to somebody else and was like, yay, and all that. And I was like, drawing him back for a little bit, I was like, wow, this guy's really comfortable with everybody. Naveed's the type of person who just does his thing, right? So he's like all about human rights and stuff, but he's not obnoxious about it, right? And like, in addition to that, I just don't think I've met anyone who's like that selfless and like consistently that selfless. And it sounds kind of weird to say out loud because when I think of Naveed, I don't think of him as like, oh yes, human rights. Like, I think of him as, yeah, Naveed, the guy who brings bullies and is always cracking jokes. He is doing what people think can't be done because people think, oh no, like I can't do anything to help solve this issue. But then you find someone who's literally dedicated their entire life to human rights, right? That's Naveed. Coming in as a freshman, Naveed has definitely been like the biggest role model for me. And he like, there are so many things that you can learn from him. But like the one thing that I know that I'll keep for the rest of my life is just like, I never thought I would learn this so perfectly, but it's just like how to laugh. Like his laugh, it's kind of like, like, ah, like, <laughs> like, I don't know. It's just like he's, it, it blows my mind. Like I've never seen such a character. All right, Bismillah. First, me like, throw back to like memory of Naveed Ahmed, Sayyid Naveed Ahmed. Gotta throw that Sayyid in. Uh, we were like, we were just sitting there like in a halaqa type of setting, and this man's like, bruh, I have the best game in the world. I was like, all right, let's hear it. This man brings up the idea of mafia. So we're like, what? All confused and everything? But this man like says the game with like so much energy that it's like, bruh, let's play this game. This is the best game in the world. And Naveed, who was the moderator, scheming. Whew, subhanAllah. He was the last mafia, and he killed the Kala. That's why you gotta go save the Kala Foundation. Support, go fund me, go. So one thing about Naveed that I don't understand is I don't know when this guy gets any sleep. I don't understand his sleep schedule because he's always the last person to leave the IFC. Uh, for example, when we went to Pearl's, we would go out to uh, Burger 7 at like midnight. We wouldn't get back till 2 in the, mor uh, two in the morning. And we'd all fall, go to sleep. And of course, Naveed wasn't in his room, so he'd, he'd be the last person to sleep. And this guy would still come back for Tahedjud uh, 4.30 in the morning, and he'd be the one waking us up. So, the first time I ever went to uh, Qurbani, as these days he's called, or Udhiya, uh, I had to witness Naveed literally taking intestines and squeezing out the poop while laughing. And he was just like, ah, 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 and I'm just sitting there like, what, is, this, is this what slaughtering lambs is about? And he's just like, yo, this is good, this is good. And he's like about to eat that. That, I'm not, so I'm, thank you Naveed, I'm never gonna eat intestines for the rest of my life. So Naveed has a problem with laughing. Uh, this one time, we had to repeat Asr eight times because both of us kept laughing it during Salah. And so we had to make wudu again each time. The only thing I could remember right now is how he creeps on me while I'm in my apartment. Basically, I'll be just sitting down, Netflix, like chill with my friends or whatever, you know. Suddenly, out of nowhere, someone enters without even knocking the door. I look at him, it's Naveed. How the hell did you get in here? He's like, uh, hi, assalamualaikum, whatever. He just gets in, goes to the bathroom, uh, to the kitchen, opens the fridge, whatever. He acts like it's his house. And when he asks him, like, how did you get in here? He's like, I have a key. I'm like... Caused me nothing but pain and agony from, from freshman years, making me the, the classic name of Ooh Khaled till, till this day, continually saying that. He has caused me nothing but annoyance.
All that aside, though, at the end of the day, Naveed has saved a lot of people. He's, uh, he has this ability to constantly give energy and value to anybody he talks to, and that's something that I admire about him. Um, I know everyone thinks that Naveed's a clown, and he is a clown, uh, and he can't take anything seriously, and sometimes it's frustrating, but uh, I've served under Naveed, I guess you can say, um, when he's been president of the ISB youth group, and uh, his two terms as president at UMBC and I've yet to see such a humble leader. Um, and that's not an easy quality to have. Uh, those people who are put into leadership positions, are, sometimes uh, it gets to our heads. And uh, he's really somebody who it didn't let that affect him. Naveed shaped my life by introducing me to the broader Muslim community um, in this area, in the whole DMV area actually. Um, he was my ticket to these people uh, who are more God-fearing than my, the crowd that I grew up with. Naveed's been like in my life like a, a sounding board for a very very long time. Uh, there's been a number of occasions where I just called him and been like, hey dude, I really need your opinion on something. Um, and they're usually like semi life changing moments where you know I needed his opinion because I knew he had been through something similar and he had done it already and he had the experience. Um, he's been there for the entire journey and inshallah he'll be there for the rest as well. It's been truly special. Naveed taught me that it can be fun to do righteous work. Uh, I remember before meeting Navi, that helping hand, um, I used to think that like Islamic work was always boring, you were always run by like a really old uncle, um, but then I saw my sister doing her internship with Navi, and I noticed like you can actually have a lot of fun while while doing things for the sake of Allah. Back when I was much younger I would attend ISB uh, every now and then. I would still see this guy always at the masjid, you know, always at these different Islamic events. But whenever I'd see him, it was as if he's having fun while doing all these things. So, you know, when I got older, I, I always remembered that thing about him. And that thing stuck to me, and, and deep down inside me, even though I wasn't very close to Islam back, back then, uh, there was a part of me that wanted to be like him, or wanted to be, wanted to feel what he's feeling, you know? Uh, being chill while also in a halal sort of way. So Naveed has been extremely vital in the growth of the Muslim student organization community. Uh, if you've been around for the past 10 years, there's been a drastic transformation, partly because of the things that he's been doing. You want to know what he's been doing to you all? He's been brainwashing you. Let me ask you something. You ever find yourself saying the words, I'm hip, for no reason at all? So a lot of you guys might know Naveed from his more religious days, his days in the MSA, but I've known Naveed for quite a while, since high school in fact. And one of his phases was his DJ Navid phase, which many of you, many of you may have heard from before. Um, there's a lot of stuff I can't speak about from that, uh, so I'll, I'll leave that out. So Naveed and I have a kind of interesting relationship where he really likes to annoy me as much as he can. Um, ever since we were kids, he would make fun of me for being fat. Um, I started balding, he made fun of me for that. He started a nickname for me called Sir Bald a lot. That was interesting. Um, so we've had a very... And on the other end, you know, I made fun of him too. I made fun of how he walks. He kind of walks like a penguin. Well, first and foremost, he taught me how to skip. Uh, Physics 121 was the first class I ever skipped. We had an MSA meeting that day and he said, skip it. And since then, I think I went back to that class maybe five times the entire semester. Learning to not trust him alone with my stuff because my phone goes missing every time he's in the room and it's always in the weirdest spot, like the microwave. My most significant experience with Naveed has been my initiation into your talib so with the candles. So I wanted to adopt Naveed when I get married, but he said no. I always warm up my food in the microwave in the IFC, so I put my food in there and I went to the bathroom and then I came back and I always just like increase the numbers like I never open it again I just because I always have like really cold food so I remember um, I was sitting there and I just increased it and I was literally just sitting in front of the microwave and he's dying <laughs> he's like dying laughing and I'm like why are you laughing and then after th I think three minutes um, I opened the microwave and there's nothing in there. Alright so me, Naveed and Halid and I have seen and then he randomly starts wrestling Naveed. He grabs Naveed, holds him down. And I see Naveed's feet are really ashy. So I got some lotion in my bag. So 
So we start pouring lotion on the V. His feet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, for clarification, I did not touch his feet. No, no. <laughs> DJ Nav. AKA Mr. MSA Goat. AKA Mr. IFC Legend. AKA Mr. Helping Hand. AKA Mr. Platters. AKA Mr. Two Terms. AKA Mr. Steal Yo Group Chat. AKA Mr. Thorin Crocs. AKA Mr. 20 Minute Isha. AKA Mr. Never Skip a Prayer but Skips Class Every Day. AKA Mr. Never Gonna Be a Brown Street Boy. Woo. Shout out Romare. <laughs> AKA Mr. Uh, get this man some lotion. <laughs> AKA Mr. Fudger in the IFC, Zuhar in Nova, Usher in Pennsylvania, Maghrib in New York, and Isha in front of Gyro, guys. <clears throat> AKA Mr. Bio Major. AKA Mr. IS Major. AKA Mr. Communication Major. AKA Mr. History Major. AKA Naveed. We love, love you. you. Uh, one thing I really appreciate about Naveed is that um, <clears throat> he, he's not afraid to practice his religion in, op in the open. Like you can see him, you know, in the middle of campus wearing a kufi and a thob. And he's not, he doesn't care about what other, what other people think of him, what they'll say about him. Um, you could ask him to, to, to give dawah in the middle of commons in front of all these non-Muslims and he wouldn't be afraid to do it. He just loves his religion so thoroughly and um, he's not afraid to practice it. And he's not afraid to show outwardly in his appearance. And you know, literally every time I wear a dhob, I think the same thing. Like, how would Naveed do it? How would he feel? You know, and, and I, I try to be as confident as he is, and um, <clears throat> it has helped me a lot, a lot, actually. So most people know Naveed. That's the funny guy that he is. But I also got to see him as president for two years. Um, that was just like a really notable memory because like he knows when to be serious, and it was like a fun experience to be on cabinet with him. I still haven't forgotten the time when Naveed. Uh, was with me when my car broke down uh, at midnight and he was with me all the way until 8 a.m. until I could go home. I will say that if Naveed wasn't around, I probably would not be uh, at ISB the way I am today. Um, when I really got there, he was like pretty much the only person I knew. And it was through Naveed that I got to know all the other guys, Saad and Omer and all these guys and, and you know it's it's just been through that that I've gotten to know so many different people and it's like expanded and it's weird because people look at me and they're like oh yeah Horace ISB it's one and the same but the truth is <laughs> I'm in Naveed's shadow when it comes to, to that. So there's quite a bit that I've learned from Naveed. Uh, some of the things I've learned is that no matter how many platters you've had you can never have enough. Uh, another thing that I've learned is that with uh, dedication and hard work and perseverance, you can graduate college in eight years. Um, but on a more serious note though, um, Navi is probably like one of the best uh, brothers on campus. So this one night we were all just chilling at our place and just uh, watching TV and Navi just comes in, kicks the door, comes inside and goes to the bathroom, closes the door and we're, and, uh, we're waiting, for him to, waiting for him to like come out and tell us what he's doing here and then he just comes out and just walks out. So he just like randomly come pop by a place, use the bathroom and just left. But he's one of the best people you'll meet and he truly made IFC home for me. So thanks Navi. Yo, 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 assalamu alaikum everyone. Inshallah, we'll be having an event tomorrow in the IFC. It's gonna be around uh, uh, 5 p.m. Everyone come up. It's gonna be lit. Sign Naveed. So anyways, congratulations. I'm happy for you. Uh, may Allah reward you for everything that you do. I mean, salam. Naveed will be in a group chat and not keep up with any of the messages. And then during some odd hour in the night, right, he'll read everything, go through 500 messages, and then reply. And it doesn't matter if we're still talking about it or not, he just has to give his two cents. So I don't actually remember actually meeting Naveed. I'm pretty sure he just kind of showed up and then it was as if he was always there. And I feel like a lot of people have that same experience with him. Um, a funny thing about him is that I'm in a group chat with him and he has this thing where he never leaves group chats. But if he's in a group chat, he will like make an effort to catch up with it. So with this group chat, it never fails that like maybe twice a week at like 4 to 5 a.m. He gets online and replies to stuff from like days ago and then is gone and that's just what he does. So recently we had a PowerPoint due for like our last assignment 
and um, I worked on it for like a good three days because it took me forever because I was actually like doing it. And V did it. He found a PowerPoint online and just used it and copied and pasted. And then um, for his sources, uh, he wrote various Google images, various YouTube videos, <laughs> and he um, sent me like so he had to email it to the professor because he like did it really late. And so the email, uh, the professor emailed him back and was like, um, this was a really good presentation and I'm really proud of you. You've done really good this semester. And I was so mad. Because <laughs> I actually worked on that PowerPoint and he just literally BS'd it. But yeah, that's what he taught me. So for those of you who know David or have ever had to work with him for anything, whether it be MSA or Helping Hand, you know that David is huge on emails. And not only sending them, but also CCing half the world to the emails. Uh, last summer I interned with Helping Hand, so he was kind of like my supervisor boss sort of thing. So there was one time we were, uh, we were, he was texting me, we were on WhatsApp, he was texting me what I had to do for the week. And he's texting me and I'm, I remember I was at a friend's house, it was over summer, we were having a movie night. And I'm texting him and I don't want to be texting him and then my phone goes off while I'm texting Naveed. And it says, uh, it's an email that says, Salaam Hiba. So these are the tasks you have for this week. We're texting about the same thing, but he insisted on sending an email at the same time we were texting each other. All right, Naveed. Honestly, there are too many things to say about him, but I'll concentrate on just three things. First thing, Naveed is one of the most inclusive guys you'll ever meet. He makes sure everyone is, is invited to all the moves we make. Second awesome thing about Naveed is that he teaches people that you can be both religious and fun when most people kind of separate the two. And the third awesome thing about Naveed is that he's a never bluff. Even when he bluffs, he's a never bluff because he'll never verbally bluff. So in a chat, he'll just remain silent when he doesn't want to do something. That's how we know Naveed is implying that's dead. All right, well, Naveed has something special. It's, it's like a prophetic quality, okay? And everyone's gonna pack on Naveed, but I'm gonna just be serious for one sec. So the Prophet Sallallahu there was this quality about him that everybody felt like he's my best friend. Like he knows me the best, right? And that's something that I can honestly say is true about Naveed. No matter where you go, people are like, yeah, I know him and he's tight with me. Like I know him at a personal level. Like that's, that's a really amazing thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, Naveed is, Naveed is like the MSA institutional memory. He's always been here. It feels like he always will be, and that's part of the fact that we just take people for granted. But uh, yeah, I mean, Naveed, you, you did a lot, and it was beneficial. Um, it's time to pass the torch um, and just take a break, you know? Uh, you, can, you can run things from the sidelines, be a cheerleader, do your thing. So, I don't really know why we're doing this, because I'm pretty sure we're going to see you here every day next year at the IFC. But, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Dunkin' Donuts, remember that, twice a day keeps the shades on a day. But um, in all seriousness, um, just one quick thing I have for Naveed is that um, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward you for the time and effort you dedicated towards the MSA. And I'm looking forward to seeing you pretty much as much as I can even after you're gone, inshallah. Jamal, let's drop a beat. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. His name is Naveed, graduating from UMBC with that college degree. I thought he was 33 living in the IFC. But he's only 25 and about to graduate. That's only eight years his parents had to wait. Now that he's leveled up, it's a game changer. Now he officially can be a Power Ranger. I remember back when he used to be a rapper, and now he's moved on to a whole new chapter. He's not the leader we deserve, but the one we were assigned. Being a role model like Optimus Prime. Yo, Yo tell him what's up! Naveed. I've been wanting to say something to you for a while. It's been on my mind and I've not been able to express the words, but I think this is probably the best time for me to do it. Naveed, I love you.